Hey guys, this is Junior Coder. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about introduction to Node Red. Node Red is a drag and drop visual tool which comes pre installed with the Raspberry Pi. In this video, we will use Node Red to control LEDs using the GPIO pins. So let's get right into it. Before we get started, here are the parts used in this tutorial. So, first, you need a breadboard. Next, you need two female to male jumper wires, a 220 ohm resistor, and lastly, you need an LED. Now, we won't focus too much on the hardware in this video. The only thing we're actually going to be doing is connecting the LED to the breadboard. So, let's do that now. So, first, we're going to take a look at the Raspberry Pi. We're going to connect two female to male jumper wires to these GPIO pins. First, we're going to connect ground third pin on the bottom and we're going to connect any other one to GPIO 2 second on the top just like that so now let's move back to the breadboard now we're going to connect the LED as you can see on the right we have the positive leg so we can connect that anywhere to the breadboard. I'll connect it just like that. So right now, the positive leg is on the left. So the positive leg is connected to E1, pin E1. So next, we're going to connect this resistor, 220 ohm. We'll connect that to the negative leg. Then we'll connect this red female to male jumper wire to the positive row of the LED. Then the negative one goes to the same row as the resistor. So now we have our hardware set up. This is how your breadboard should look like. And this is how your Raspberry Pi should look like. So now let's control this using a node red. So now we are in the Raspberry Pi desktop. We go to the top left corner and go to programming and we click on node red just like that. As you can see this opens up the terminal. Now this opened up a server. I'll show you what that means in a second. So we go to the top left corner then we go to Internet Chromium Web Browser. So we open that. And then right here we type local host colon 1880. So basically, when we open the node red right here, programming node red, this opened up the terminal, and then the terminal opened a server at port 1880 so when you go to localhost colon 1880 you actually open that server right here and right here we have the node red so now let's control the LED so first we go to inject this is like a input and then we make it so that's either off or on double click on this then we change the payload to a string so this string has to be between 0 and 1. So either 0 or 1. If it's 0, that means it's off. If it's 1, it means it's on. So this one, let's do 0. And the name will do off. Now the name does not matter. I'm just doing that. And then we'll add another one. And string 1, that means on. And we say on. So to actually connect to a GPIO pin, we go to the left side, as you can see right here. These are all the blocks, and if you go to Raspberry Pi, you can see that we have two blocks named RPI, GPIO. RPI stands for Raspberry Pi, GPIO stands for General Purpose Input Output. So you're probably thinking, why are there two of the same exact block? Well, it's not exactly the same. The one that has the logo to the left is actually the input. And the one that has the logo to the right is actually the output node. 
So we'll grab the output one, double click it, and then here we choose the pin. So if you don't remember, we set it to GPIO2 right here, or pin 3. We basically click on that, it's really simple. Then let's scroll down, then we go to initialize pin state. So we leave it at low. So what this means, every time we run this flow, the initial pin state is zero. So it's turned off automatically. And then once we're done, you click done. Actually, we forgot to name it. So double click again. And we scroll down. And we change the name to red LED. Now we can click done. So now we can connect these by clicking on the small box. Then we connect that to the red LED. Then we do the same thing with the on. So now to run this, you click deploy. So now if I click one of these squares, so if I click off, nothing happens because it's already off. But if I click on, you can see that our LED turns on. So that's all for the basics of Node Red. If you want to see more tutorials on Node Red, be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you learned something, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.